Substitute Lee Griffith's superb second-half free kick was enough to beat Ross County and extend Celtic's own British unbeaten domestic record to 64 games. The Scottish Premiership leaders had found Ross County difficult to break down at the Global Energy Stadium in Dingle. After the hour mark the Celtic manager Brendan Rodgers turned to the bench for help from the Scotland striker, who came on with Johnny Hayes and when Griffiths got his opportunity from a free kick in 77 minutes. He curled a trademark-style pass home keeper Aaron McCary to give Celtic a narrow win and set them up for the Champions League game against Paris Saint-Germain in France on Wednesday night. Left-back Kieran Tierney made his 100th appearance for Celtic in an unchanged side with fit again. Griffiths and defender Joseph Samunovic on the bench. Owen Coyle's side were also unchanged and enjoyed a rather stress-free first 45 minutes which provided few talking points. Celtic keeper Craig Gordon had to race out quickly to thwart Ross County midfielder Michael Gardine in the opening stages where the visitors practiced their passing game in no apparent hurry to get to the county goal. There were also signs of slackness in Celtic's play in the 13th minute. After defender near Bitten had conceded possession, wide man Davis Keeler Dunn curled a shot over the bar from 20 yards. The league leaders slowly gained control and in the 23rd minute midfielder Stuart Armstrong played in fellow midfielder Callum McGregor but he appeared to have the ball nicked away from his toe by Christopher Rudis as he set himself to shoot. Although the Parkhead player appealed for a penalty, Celtic defender Michael Lustig found the side netting from a McGregor corner at the start of the second half and the hoop's first shot on target came in the 55th minute from Musa Demble which McCary gathered with ease. At the other end, Gordon got down to his right hand post to save a 25-yard free kick from Rudis before Rodgers brought on Griffiths and Hayes on for McGregor and James Forrest. The Highlanders began to sense there was more than a draw on offer and broke with increasing purpose and confidence. Celtic, for their part, could not get out of their slumber. However, when Jim O'Brien was booked for a foul on Armstrong, it gave Griffiths an opportunity to make his mark that he accepted readily. Curling his free kick high past McCary, the goal allowed the treble winners to relax in midfielder Olivier N.T. Champ. On for Demble, cracked the post with a drive from the edge of the box. And Scott Sinclair missed the target with a good chance before the end. With a county claim for handball against Dedrick Boyata in the Celtic box ignored.